darlings, I'm Izumi. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be taking a tour of my anime slash Japanese inspired city map I've been building. I have put 668 plus hours because last time I calculated it was 60, 668, but I have built on this since then. So it is more than 650 hours basically, um, which is like around 2000 Minecraft days. Obviously, I don't have a day-night cycle because it's a creative world, so that's just purely speculation based on some math I did. Without further ado, let's get into the tour, shall we? I thought, what a better place to start than the, the highway so that we can kind of round back to the highway and I can show you guys the other city I made in this world because yes, I made another city in this world on top of this first city. This is not finished. Let me go ahead and say that real quick. Um, but it is um, a work in progress that I'm very proud of the progress so far. And I think genuinely, like it's not that far from being completed. There's just some big main buildings I need to add and interiors. Like you can see some of these are just shell buildings. You can kind of see through the windows and stuff that these are just shell buildings. And I want to have every interior done, which that'll probably be a live stream of me just doing interiors for hours and hours. But let's go ahead and start with this back street right here. Also, this is what the map looks like from above. As I said, it's not finished. There's this mountain that I need to fully round out. It's only one sided right now. Um, and there's just, you know, there's some empty streets that are definitely going to be added, added houses and stuff too, uh, which I might recruit some of my friends to help me finish this because I've been doing this by myself uh, for over a year now. And I think I might need some help. <laughs> And then up here is the other little city I started building. That'll probably be my next big thing is building this city. But I needed it for a scene in the show that I was doing because I do uh, MCTV series sometimes. So that's what that's for. Yeah, this world is for a MCTV series called Internet Crush. By the way, if you did not know, um, you don't have to know Internet Crush lore to enjoy this tour, though. So let's continue, shall we? These are the backs of some townhouses, by the way. Um, there's nothing really interesting on this road till later on so i'm just gonna keep flying we have some shops and we have a kind of what i imagined to be just a general convenience store again the interior is not done but this is what it's going to be you know got some taller buildings got a gas station we love to see it love to see it we also have some apartments over there um another kind of like i imagine this being like maybe like a restaurant with apartments above it um, we got some more little shops and whatnot. We have a parking garage, which this road leads to more. We're going to go down that way next. I'm just going to show you what's at the end of this road because this doesn't go on for too, too much longer. Um, and then we're going to come back up. There's a lot in this city that I want to show you guys. And so it's not super easy to, uh, have a specific streamlined way around the city. So we're just gonna be kind of having fun. And then this road will eventually lead to the main street over there that I am currently building. It's my newest addition to the city. So that's why it looks a little barren over there to say the least. Yeah, this is a train station. So you can kind of head up. This is the more unique of the train station layouts. It's definitely not uh, the most realistic. I have a more realistic one. I just thought this looked cool. I'm gonna be completely honest. Like it has like a little bridge over where the train would hypothetically come through with like stained glass. And then you can go to the other side and wait and do not enter until informed. Good information to say, good information to say. And then I have the train tracks that go all through the city. And then eventually they'll be hooked to the city above, which is Yotoshi city. This is called Eiko city, by the way, just so that you guys know. It's, it's called Eiko, you don't have to call it Eiko city. This is based off of basically a little bit of Tokyo, but mainly Sapporo. Um, and if it was like a cozier, smaller town, because for my first town in this world, I didn't want it to be too crazy off the rails. So I kind of scaled my ideas back a little bit to make it a little bit more cozy. Oh, wait, hold on. I want to show you from this angle. So this is just one street over. We were looking at this from over there before. Um, here are some of the townhouses. I really like this little hill right here i think this is so pretty oh i think it's so cute um over here we have the middle school or not middle school but the equivalent in japan it's before they go to the final three years of their i think it's called i don't know what it's called hold on what is the middle school equivalent in japan 
lower secondary school. So there's lower secondary school and then there's secondary school, I believe, which is like high school, which is a three year deal. It's like the last three years of like your schooling besides like university and stuff. So there's there's their, their lower secondary school. If I'm getting any of this wrong, by the way, feel free to correct me. I don't know everything and I am more than willing to learn. I just love Japanese culture and I wanted to make something fun. So that's why I made this world. I don't know everything though, obviously. This is a Richie Rich neighborhood. I'm not super like a like, I'm not super into like super modern houses. Um, and the mountain, as I said, is not finished, but I think it'll look really cool when it is. Um, but I, I do think that this turned out pretty, pretty good. I, I, for the fact that I don't like building modern houses, I think the modern houses turned out pretty good. Also, if you haven't been able to tell already, this is a very heavily modded world. If you guys want to know the mods, if you are like, what's that from? Feel free to ask in the comments. I will, I will answer as soon as I see the comment. Here is a little plaza. I copied and pasted this from another part of the city. So if you see a very similar plaza, that's why. Um, here we have some houses, just some basic little houses that I thought looked cute. We have a ramen shop, which I always imagined because that's, that's the, the secondary school or the high school equivalent. Um, and I always imagined that a lot of high schoolers on their like lunch break or stuff, they'd go over to the ramen shop, which I think would be fun. Here we have more of the train tracks and down there we have a train station. It's the exact same as the North train station. So I'm not going to take that much time with it. Here it is. I'll show you more in depth when we get to the north side. And then I built my house that I'm buying. <laughs> Just, I built it in this world because I wanted these mods. It's not a part of the city, canonically. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead one street over. And this is the high school or secondary school. So this is for like, you know, 16, 17, 15, 16, 17 year olds. I think that this turned out really cute. Obviously, I took inspiration from a lot of high school rom-com animes. Uh, we have the shoe lockers because if you did not know, you got to take your shoes off. Your dirty little shoes. You got to take your dirty little shoes off and go put your school shoes on. Okay. Thank you. We got some restrooms. We got some lockers. Not really lockers as much as just like storage. General storage. We got some, got some classrooms. We go all the way down there. I'm not going to give a super in-depth tour of the school. If you guys want a separate school tour... Let me know. Uh, this leads to this like side little area, which I think is really cute. I really like this. It has like a bridge to the gymnasium. Here's the gymnasium. Oh, oh, hello. Let me just delete you. Here's the gymnasium. I think it looked really cool. It has their school colors, which are just pink and white because <laughs> of course they are. I think there's also blue. I think it's light blue, pink and white. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's their colors. Oh, wait, hold on. So the second floor is not done, but there's a part that I want to show you guys. But first, let me show you the cafeteria. Here's the cafeteria. I think it turned out really good. A lot of secondary schools in Japan don't actually have cafeterias. I did this mainly for filming purposes for the series I make. Um, but it's not hyper realistic because a lot of people eat in their classrooms. They'll clean. They'll do like the, the, the entire school cleans the school and then they'll eat in their classroom uh, or Rather, they'll clean after they eat in their classroom, I think. Um, I think that's what it is. I did a good bit of research trying to figure out, you know, what the best way to do things and to make them most accurate. But obviously, I I don't live in Japan. So there's certain things that I wouldn't really know too in depth just from a little bit of research. This is the principal or headmaster's office. Um, turned out pretty good, pretty good. Principal Mitsui. And you'll see that it's in English. I'm learning Japanese right now, but I don't know enough to be able to write all of this in Japanese. And I don't trust Google Translate. Here we have like a little reading area. That's really cute. I can't wait till this is done. So that way, like it feels more like actually usable because right now it's like at the end of this back rooms-esque hallway. <laughs> but the next floor up is more done. Um, it has some nice hallways, beautiful, beautiful it leads to overlooking the cafeteria, which I think is just a really cool view. There's vending machines all around because I like vending machines. <laughs> Last but not least, we have the rooftop access, which I cannot show you because as spoilers. So we're gonna leave the school now. I forgot that was up there. <laughs> okay, 
further down this way, we have some buildings. Um, we have this cute little lesbian flag themed building. <laughs> we have a cute little like modern tavern vibe that again, has no interior. A lot of these are just shells of buildings. Um, we have the, the Apple Blood Bakery owned by Luz and Amity, which is uh, Owl House <laughs> characters. <laughs> My stream chat really did help me uh, create a lot of what these buildings were going to be. So if there's anything that's like, that's interesting, it's because of them. <laughs> and I wouldn't change a thing. Here we have an arcade, which is very cute. And then we have literal shell buildings that are just boxes that I need to put exteriors on. And then this leads to the middle school here, the lower secondary school. Um, does not have an interior, but has an exterior and has some cute little parking down here. There's one building, nothing crazy. There would be, there's going to be buildings all along this road. Um, but as of right now, there's nothing. And then this is just a like warehouse truck, whatever is in random, like, you know, industrial stuff i don't know man i don't know these things i'm just i'm just building what i think fits okay don't worry about it don't worry about it so that kind of is all of the south of the city sections let's go back up north slightly and keep showing you stuff heading north on the street we came in on there is some shops and there's this really cute alleyway i think this is one of my favorite spots in the city it's just so cute especially at night um, I also built a boba shop, which has an interior, and it's really cute. Interiors definitely take me the shortest amount of time. Exteriors take me the longest, and I enjoy interiors the most, so I'm really excited to do interiors, which I'll be streaming. I stream once a week every Wednesday um, around 11 a.m. EST. Um, you can Google to figure out what that is in your time zone. But I will be streaming me doing these interiors probably a lot soon. <laughs> I also do game dev stuff during my live stream sometimes and play indie games occasionally, but a lot of the time I'm just building this map because it's it's really fun to build this map. Okay, so this is the little alleyway. There's some apartments and it's very cute. It's very cute if I do say so myself. Uh, I think it's very adorable. If we keep heading north, oh my goodness, we have another street. We have a donut shop, which again has, not, has no interior, but is really cute. I like the donut on top. I've started many streams inside that donut, dancing around. Here we have an apartment complex or what's going to be an apartment complex with a coffee shop underneath. And then we have like office buildings. This is where kind of the city is going to start. And there's going to be big buildings and it's going to lead to Main Street, uh, which Main Street's going to have a lot of city buildings as well as these smaller buildings down towards the end, towards the school. Um, but it's going to get like skyscrapery in this kind of middle area. I want this to kind of feel like a Shibuya Crossing, but like small. Um, so there's going to be like really big corner buildings on either side of this smaller street going into this big street. And there's going to be like a big old row of really big buildings here. And I think it's going to look really nice. Um, and then as I said, it's going to get to these smaller buildings down towards the end where the secondary school is. Just because, you know, I feel like that makes the most sense. Um, but down this street, we just have, we have a coffee shop. We have... Uh, whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. We have a hotel. We have a conveni or a convenience store, which this one's kind of dark academia. Doesn't really match the Japan vibe. I guess I was in a dark academia mood when I built this, but you know what? It's fine. We have a toy store and we have a flower shop and I'm just going to completely fill it out with a bunch of stuff. There's going to be a, um, a bathhouse also off of this road. It's going to be really pretty. Um, but if we go towards this small road over here, it leads to the like farming district of town there's going to be even more farms on this road but right now we have one main one which is owned by the family of one of the main characters in the series um and it's very pretty i think that this is probably one of my favorite builds as well um i think that it just turned out really nice and then they have like where their horses are because they have horses because they're rich and then you go through here and there's like this big pasture for them to to gallivant within um but yeah it's a very pretty little deal um their house is done inside it's actually very pretty i'll just give you guys a little peek see um this front area is not done but this area is and i really like their kitchen it's very cute but regardless boop let us continue the tour so if we go back towards main street 
there's nothing obviously here uh, but there's stuff in between but i'm going to show you what's like the north north side and then we can kind of fill in the rest um here we have the train station which i'll give you a more in-depth view on um i wanted something that was cute and gave the vibe of a train station but also was like a very quaint feeling um it's called the Quito, Kita Eco Station, which basically is North Eco Station. It's not that creative, I know. Here we have it. This is where the train would pull up. Again, very small little station. This is supposed to be not a super big city, just like a small town with a small city district within it. Um, it's kind of a just neighboring city to a big city, which Yotoshi City is going to be a big Japan-inspired city. So that's going to be more like the Tokyo um, than this is. You know, this is like a small um a small but still very modernized city here are the campgrounds um i decorated it for halloween because i had a fall festival going on um in one of the uh episodes or rather a special um but if we go down this way we will start heading back into town and i can show you kind of what lies between everything you've already seen first we have the kind of suburbs also look at this house Look at that house. Look at that cute little bay window. Look at this cute little front porch. It's the Glack residence. I name a lot of these houses after and build them inspired by uh, chat, like people in chat, like chat members, uh, which is super fun because it makes it where it kind of feels more like you guys are a part of the world and it's really nice. Um, so a lot of these houses have signs on them um, and say who they belong to, the Astro Fay residence. Like there's a bunch of these. Um, though. Wolf Residence, yeah, there's a ton of these. And this way, there's a ton more houses. You might have seen them. First, we got some train tracks. Uh, and then we have like a bunch more rows of houses. And then this leads to Main Street. There's like a cul-de-sac at the end that leads to Main Street. A little cul-de-sac. And then this leads to Main Street, which I think is very nice. I think it's very like, I don't know. I love a little bit of realism. I love city layouts. I love like all of that. And I think like, ugh. It's just, I, I really enjoy this kind of stuff. Like, I'm a City Skylines player. I love The Sims. I've just always been really into this kind of stuff. And so I'm really proud of how far I've come with this city and that I did not give up because it would have been easy to give up at any point. And I really want to finish this world or finish this city at least. Uh, we have the Lovely Lane Public Park. This is just a cute little park. Nothing really crazy about it. We've got a basketball area. Um, and yeah, but if we go through the park, one street over, down this way, we have the fronts of the townhouses you guys originally saw the backs of, and we have this lovely plaza. And then if you keep heading down, it heads to the highway. So we can either go this way, which leads to the road we started on, or we can go this way, which leads to like an overpass. Do, 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 over the highway beautiful lovely and then we can go around and it was really weird i had to build on the opposite side of the road because japan drives on the opposite side of the road as the u.s um and so it was really weird i had to like rewire my brain to remember to build that way but let's go ahead and head down the highway towards let's see if this has it yutoshi city Here we are, Yutoshi City. This is Yutoshi, which again, fictional, does not actually exist. And look at that, oh my goodness. Now this is a city. The other I would call a town more than a city, but this is like a city and I love it. I love it so much. So here we have like the main little area. Oh my God, it actually feels like a city. Oh, I love cities sorry i'm i just love it so much uh we have this cute little like convenience store with some apartments on top we have these cute little townhouses slash apartments i don't know they're really cute though we have these townhouses actual townhouses we have uh this little building probably stores on the bottom apartments on top we have a cute little townhouse deal here we have an adorable 
adorable library slash coffee shop. Like, I really love how this turned out. I think it's just so freaking cute. We have a um, coffee shop. Oh, sorry about that. We have a coffee shop and also like bakery thing that's going to be down there. And then it's also going to be a massive apartment building. So I really love this. I, I love the city so much. Okay. You wouldn't know because I'm moving to like the middle of nowhere when I move. But I like visiting the city a lot. I don't love living in the city, but I love taking trips to the city. Does it make sense? I don't know. I like a little bit of woods. I like a little bit of city. I like both. I like both. Here we have a massive hotel, which is beautiful. I just, I really like, I'm really proud of how it turned out. Some of the skins are broken. Just ignore that. Uh, but yeah, here's the hotel. It looks pretty cute. We have like a little like cafe area over here. It's kind of dark because it's sunset and there's not as much light pouring into these builds, but it looks beautiful outside because that's where we're mainly going to be. Um, there's a cute little greenery park area. Um, and then we have a parking garage, which I think turned out pretty cute. Um, we have down here and I'll show you the guys the opposite side of this road as well. Um, this is the back of a building, so you guys will see more of that in a second. Um, here we have a, I believe this is supposed to be like a shop with apartments above it. We have just apartments in general. We have, um, just some, just some shops, just some cute shops, apartments, shops, shops. Um, I think that this is just so cute. I'm really, I... I think I had a lot more understanding of where I wanted to go with Yatoshi than I had with Eiko when I started. Because Eiko was all built around the high school or the secondary school. Where Yatoshi was built around the convention center and a hotel. So it feels more realistic, in my opinion. Here we just have some more shops and stuff. Um, and then we have the giant convention center, uh, which is from one of the episodes. They went to a they went to Otakukan in Yatoshi. Um, again, some of the skins are not going to be working properly, which sucks, but it is what it is. Um, it's a little dark in here. Normally I have night vision on when I'm inside of here, but we got like a, uh, Squishmallow, uh, crane game, human claw machine. Um, we got Artist Alley with Ken and Cyan and Black and their amazing builds and stuff. We love them. We have... The cosplay contest going on. We got a gaming showcase. Upstairs, we have what's supposed to be a bunch of, like, restaurants and shops and stuff. Which I think that this this looks adorable. I wasn't able to finish it because I didn't need it for the episode because they never come up here. But I just think it's so cute. Like, I worked so hard making just the little details really matter. It's the little details, you know? The little details are the fun parts. So I'm so excited because I'm almost to the point in the city where I can just add little details. Which will be so fun to do. But regardless. Down here I have where it's going to extend to the other road. Um, and like another parking lot and stuff. But... Is that? No, 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 no. I need to show you guys the other street. Okay. So we also have like the like riverside cherry blossom lined river area, which I think is so pretty. Oh my God. When this is finished. Oh my God. Uh, if you guys want to have this for download, let me know. It has a lot of mods. So I'd have to have like a mod list and like file with it as well. Um, so I don't know if it's the most easily accessible map. Um, I didn't think I would post it for the public, but you guys have kind of been asking for that in my stream. So let me know if you guys would like that in the comments below. Um, here we have an apartment or townhouse, whatever. Uh, we have some townhouses as well here. We have a shop, which is a copy paste of another shop. We have another townhouse, which is a copy paste of another townhouse. And then we have the apartment. Oh, we have this, which I don't know what's going to go here. I think I was going to put like a little park here. I don't remember. Something's going to go there. And then we have the apartment complex, which, oh my gosh, when these like big apartment complexes are on this road, it's going to really bring it all together. It's going to really feel like a city city. Um, then if we go the other way on the like the riverside kind of lane walkable area, we have a house. We have another house. We have, I don't even know what this is supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be like a restaurant. 
I think it's supposed to be a restaurant with an apartment above it. Or it's supposed to be just a apartment. It might just be an apartment. I don't know. I didn't finish the inside. I just put furniture in there so that it didn't look completely empty from the outside. Um, this, I think, is supposed to be like a shop of some sort. I think I might make it like a... Maybe like a like a like a either like a coffee shop or maybe like a clothing shop. I don't know. Um, these are empty. These are going to have faces on them. They're just shelves for now. Again, another townhouse. Townhouses. Here we have a really fun build. This is if I were to have a studio one day for like my videos and stuff. It was super fun to do. It kind of healed my inner child a little bit. Uh, but it's just so cute. Like, look at it. Oh my God. Um, I love these star deals. Like I would totally actually have these in real life. Um, and we have like recording rooms for just like by, by yourself. Um, and then we have, uh, like other deals. Oh, we have a bathroom as well. Um, we have an elevator and then we have the D and D room. This is like the idea that we'd have like a D and D podcast or something or a D and D show rather like I love how it's set up. Like I built this little DM screen. <laughs> I think it looks really cute. And I love the idea that like here, if you actually go where this camera is and you look at like where the DM would be, it like has like the star background. And I think that's just really cool. I think that that's like, an actual really good way to set up something like that. You know, let me reset my camera. There we go. Okay. So... Then upstairs, there's like the editors and miscellaneous working stuff, um, as well as the like little break area, like with their little kitchen. But a lot of these are just like like computers where like editors and artists and stuff would work. Um, I think that's just really cool. I think that it's a really cool idea. Um, I don't think it'll ever happen. Who knows though? Who knows? I should I should speak good about myself and it, the possibility of it happening, but. I think it's really cool. I think it'd more so be like, I guess it would be like if this was Izumi Studios, I guess it would be like a full on, it would have like a D&D &D room and recording session stuff, but it would also probably have game dev stuff now because that's something that I've been really into as well as like animation stuff now because that's also something I've been really into. So it'd be like a lot of things in one place, which would be really cool. We have another copy paste of the townhouse. Um, this is probably going to be a big apartment complex in between, but that is Yatoshi and that is Eiko. So let me know what you guys think about this. Excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> Jesus. Let me know what you guys think about this city or these cities rather in the comments below. I am so appreciative of you watching this video and let me know what you guys would like me to add to these cities um, in the comments below as well as if you guys would like to have this be downloadable to the public because... I'm nervous. I've never released a map to the public before, so I don't even know how to do it, but I'll figure it out if you guys really want me to. Um, but without further ado, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys next week with a full highlight slash breakdown of me building this for the 2000 Minecraft days slash 668 hours slash 40,000 minutes, roughly, roughly. I broke it all down in a video and that'll be coming out next week. So if that is already out when you're watching this, if you're watching this in the future, I'll put that on screen right now and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Easy me out.